I'm Doug Caldwell with the University of Florida, Collier County Extension. We're looking at a nice green street in downtown Naples, Florida. And people like this overarching branches, a quiet, peaceful feeling takes over them. It's nice, it's tranquil. However, you go from a green boulevard to downtown Naples, 6th Avenue and 5th Street, Look at the difference. Doesn't it bring a smile to your face? The Royal Poinciana, or flamboyant tree as it's known in some circles, is loved by people because it has such a long flowering or bloom period, almost two months. That's a good deal for a tree. It peaks in June, goes through July with the most bloom intensity. The scientific name for this tree is Delonyx regia. It's from Madagascar, and it's thought by some that have surveyed these that there's more of these trees in South Florida than there are in Madagascar now. This tree has unique fine-leafed foliage. Here's a new leaf, almost like a fern frond unrolling. Once they expand, you can see there's hundreds of leaflets that give the Royal Poinciana a, a delicate, even though it's a large statured tree, it gives it a delicate look to the canopy. In the trade, this is called the purple trumpet tree, but as I look at it, it is a bouquet of pinks and darker pinks. The Latin name is Tabibua impetiginosa. It is from South America and reaches a height of 30 to 40 feet with a spread of 35 to 50 feet or so. The flowers are pinkish with yellow blotched throats. It has 21 intense flowering days from late January through March. But be aware there is another species called the pink flowering tab, which has a shorter flowering period, 17 days, in mid-March through April. The way you can identify the purple tab is by the shape of the leaflets. The leaflets are broad with serrated margins. The pink tab has narrow, wavy leaflets with smooth margins. This is the golden shower tree, Cassia fistula. It's early June and it's in full bloom. What a glorious sight. If yellow is your favorite color, plant one of these. It is a fast grower from India and can reach heights of 20 to 30 feet. And as you can see, it is just smothered in an 18-inch hain which seems a pure yellow, like golden sunshine. This is the queen's crepe myrtle, and the blossoms are almost an inch and a half across, much larger than the crepe myrtle that we normally think of. And you can see why they call it crepe myrtle, because the flower texture is almost like crepe paper. Very beautiful, stunning in flower. It will get up to 60 feet tall, so you have to watch that in storms and keep it pruned to a safe point. This is a beautiful blue jacaranda tree. Blue flowering trees are unusual, and when you see a boulevard of these, it's a jaw dropper. Its scientific name is Jacaranda mimosifolia. It hails from South America and grows from 25 to 40 feet in height up to 45 feet in width. Blooming begins April through June and provides 34 days of intense flowering. The flowers hang in large clusters 12 inches long and 8 inches wide and look very much like lavender blue snapdragons. Orchid trees are in the Bohemia genus. They are not orchids. Orchids do not grow into trees. They are rather in the legume or bean family. There are three species commonly used in Southwest Florida. We'll discuss these today. Two are okay, but the third one you should avoid. We'll show you how to identify that one. As you can see, the orchid tree can get fairly large from 35 to 50 feet in height and 25 to 30 feet in width. The Hong Kong orchid flower has five petals and the color ranges from purple to pink with the banner, the top petal, being the darkest. Also, note that there's five pink stamens. 
This is the fall orchid tree. Its scientific name is Bohenia purpurea. It grows to 40 feet and has more of a weeping type form. The flowers have narrow petals and only three stamens. There is a wide variety of colors from tree to tree blooming from September through November. It has the shortest bloom period of the three orchid trees. <laughs> this is the bad brother. This is Bohenia variegata, sometimes called mountain ebony or just plain old orchid tree. And because of the number of seed pods, you get a lot of seedlings sprouting up where you don't want them. And for that reason, the Florida Exotic Pest Plant Council has categorized this as a number one invasive plant species. So they should not be planted anymore. The Hong Kong orchid tree is sterile. It does not produce seed pods. Therefore, the only way it can be propagated is through air layering, grafting, or cuttings. Comparing bloom period of the two species, Bohenia variegata flowers intensely for about two months, whereas the Hong Kong orchid, you get a much longer bloom period of about four months. The pink shower tree is, for the moment, my favorite medium-sized flowering tree. Its scientific name is Cassia bakeriana. It is a relatively recent introduction and is available from several Miami and Homestead nurseries. This tree is ideal for our southwest Florida yards. A great substitute for live oaks. It attains a height of 20 to 30 feet with a similar canopy width. Its long arching branches can be enveloped with flowers from late March to mid-May. And depending on the year, that gives you almost six to eight weeks of bloom. The three inch diameter flowers wrap around the twigs, encasing them like cotton candy. I foresee Naples having a pink shower cassia festival lasting longer and being more striking than Washington DC's cherry blossom festival. I'm excited about adding flowering trees to our southwest Florida landscapes and I hope the few trees we just looked at will inspire you and your communities to plant more of these beautiful trees. There's more than a hundred we could choose from. I'm Doug Caldwell, Dr. Doug Bug, helping you to beautify your landscape and protect the environment.